hello hello welcome back to let's talk ray bradbury if you have not subscribed to our channel please do so i am continuing my journey through the stories of ray bradbury we got 100 more ray bradbury stories to review in the coming months and today's story is the lake from 1944 yeah it's a pretty early one for bradbury uh, in this tale, a 12-year-old boy named Harold is on the beach by a lake in September with his mother. Um, most of the tourists are gone. The shops are closing up, being boarded up along the boardwalk. Uh, the weather's getting a little bit colder, but uh, his mother wanted to get one last swim in for the season before uh, they went back uh, to the west and um, he went back to school. Um, after getting out of the water, uh, he decides that he wants to take a walk down the beach and be alone. And he does this, uh, and he goes to a certain point in the water um, and begins to call a name Tally. Uh, Tally, we uh, learn, was his 12-year-old uh, little girlfriend, um, who a year later had drowned, apparently, in the water and never been found. Uh, he calls and calls for her, but uh, she never returns, and he, um, she's never seen alive again, obviously. Uh, he goes back to his mother, and then they hop on the train. They go back west. Um, and in the space of a few paragraphs, we learn that he grows up, he marries, um, starts a family, and uh, on one occasion, uh, they go back to this very same lake um, as adults, and again, um, there he finds himself on the beach thinking about Tally. Just then, remarkably, uh, the lifeguards um, are seen walking up the beach carrying a bundle, and uh, lo and behold, it is the 10 years dead body of little Tally. Um, bringing to close uh, this weird chapter in his life. Um, before he leaves, he notices a sandcastle, half-built, with um, little footprints marching off into the water but never coming back, and he's reminded of um, how um, years ago as a child, uh, he too built a sandcastle, um, half-built, because the other half was for her to build. build. Um, and... Uh, yeah, um, it brings the close of his chapter of his life in a very, very creepy, weird way. Um, I love the story. Uh, it's mournful. It's definitely an end of summer story. You can feel the seasonal changes, but it's not just about this change of seasons. It's about the sort of metaphorical change of the seasons of the person's life. Um, it's about growing up and learning to deal with loss and the, 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 the losses from childhood that managed to haunt us through our life and to help define us. Uh, I'm very much reminded of a dream theater song called A Change of Seasons, about 25 minutes long. Great epic track from the early 90s. I highly recommend checking that out. Um, <laughs> is that, uh, this story also feels in my mind almost like an episode of like a show like Cold Case or something like that, where um, you should have had this intro section and you um, sort of see somebody goes missing and sort of vanishes from the screen. It sort of has that vibe. Um, but it also, I would say, um, what really draws me to this story is how sort of it very much speaks to my own personal psychology. Um, I, I tend to be a backward looker. Um, I have a hard time letting go of things and, um, you know, I'm haunted by events and um, significant ones and completely insignificant ones that I shouldn't even remember. Um, so um, the ability to have that memory and sort of be constantly weighed down by your past, um, I can definitely relate to that as, excuse me, <clears throat> there it is. <laughs> um, I, I can definitely relate to um, not the death of a person by drowning, but um, this sort of sense of loss that um, um, continues to reoccur throughout the life of our main character. So, uh, yeah, The Lake, 1944, Ray Bradbury from the stories of Ray Bradbury. Uh, pick up a copy. Uh, this has been out since the 80s. Um, uh, it's one of several collections of Bradbury short stories. He published hundreds and hundreds of short stories in his lifetime, and many I've read and many I'm still uh, discovering here alongside you on Let's Talk. So thank you, and until next time, keep it creepy.